but if it's not broke, don't don't fix it. And Kuroki Tusk once again. So now with this one, it will be yeah, 10 and 2 on 7.05 and 7.06. It's incredibly strong. And uh, GH Disruptor, not really a lot to be said there apart from go and watch game one. This man single-handedly broke S4 with the with his Disruptor player yeah. and then moved on to, to breaking the whole of OG. We do not know yet if we're going to see a, a puck pick, though. So we'll see. I'm sure I'm sure he won't. Do if I was it. if sure I was S4, it. I'd be like, just, no, yeah. I'm good. Um, <laughs> He's gonna be like, can you ban S a puck just in case we accidentally? Pick? Yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah. He will not want to play puck again, and in, uh, in this uh, at least against DH's disruptor. Unless okay. he gets some kind of a decent dual lane. Uh, not that puck really is good in a dual lane because he wants levels anyways. But maybe it works if he doesn't die a couple times early. But. It, it it was rough. It was definitely a very rough game. And even against Tusk, I think it's a bit iffy, um, since he has Snowball to make the time for kills delayed, and that time can usually be enough for heroes to get unsilenced or Puck to be have stayed too long. Um, so it's kind of a decent way to open up. Invoker or Spirit steals the Invoker away from Liquid, um, gives them yeah. some better early game potential, because uh, clearly this is going to be a, a Dodo match about early game tempo, so I don't really expect to see too much late game picked here. Yeah, I absolutely totally agree. After the way that, that last game went, it's something that OG definitely want to keep control of, even more so in this game after letting it get out of hand and liquid, something they're just going to want to repeat. They, they know that they've got that strength there against OG. In terms of play style, and they're going to try and abuse it again, definitely with already the same two picks coming through. The bands, liquid, taking out that Nyx Assassin. Something that can, uh, you know, guys looking towards here is they're going to be able to enable Invoker with the Sunstrike potential, anyone with sort of that global setup or, or catch out potential. It's just a good hero, honestly. Yeah. Like, uh, very good ganking is definitely the primary way, like you said, but it counters so many heroes. Uh, it may also mean that Liquid's thinking about grabbing a Batrider. Oh, I'm sorry, it's banned first round. Never mind. There's so, like, there, you can I mean, name at least like five heroes, heroes that are counters. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure, that you're banning the Knicks because you want to play them. Yeah. Could be like OD or something. Yeah. Although I don't think I would pick OD against Earth Spirit, but. TA banned out as well. Very good uh, Invoker lane matchup counter. But maybe there's something else Liquid's thinking about throwing mid. Some other miracle hero. Yeah, in interesting that they are yeah, looking towards yeah, banning out the mid when. Well, who else could they look to contest? I mean, Mind Control. There's there's still a lot of mind control heroes in the pool. I mean, Darkseer has still been left in, and yeah. I get another guy who obviously the whole team did great, but he had some great vacuum walls that last game. A lot of beautiful plays from mind control. So yeah. I don't see any reason why they don't take the Darkseer really again if it's left in Liquid, but it may very well be bammed out by OG in this next ban. Oh, we'll see. I mean, n neither team really reveals a whole lot. I, Invoker is maybe the biggest tell that we're looking at, I guess. Um, and Liquid's banning towards something that combos well with Invoker. Um, but I'm sure they'll be able to find something else. They can still, like, Beastmaster or... I guess Beastmaster's not good against Tusk either. You know for, for S4, but... I mean, I might be able to see the S4 Axe come into play. I, and I like that ban, as I said. I think that Liquid could be would have really would, would taken the Dark Sea. So I like the Axe idea. Awesome. You know, it's, it's so weird. Like, mm. as soon as you grab Invoker, everything that you're thinking about picking... To combo it with, Tusk already kind of counters it, because Tusk's purpose as a hero, in a lot of ways, is to snowball dodge combos of Disable. Like, it's like a Shadow Demon, kind of, yeah, except I mean, it, and Kuroki's it's better so roaming. good as well with those snowball saves. Yeah, and, and all it takes is he has to be out of the range. Uh, he can't get caught with Earth Spirit Disables while it's happening. And as long as he does that, he's going to save somebody's life. So now all the heroes I'm thinking of for OG to pick, Tusk is already there as a solution. Um, so in some ways, the Invoker pick was... As long as OG's of the same thought process as me, in some ways, the Invoker pick was a negative because of that. And Liquid's have been grabbing Lone Druid pretty consistently throughout this tournament. Find a lot of use with it. The the one game it fell really flat was against Secret, against the Huskar. So. It w yeah, it wasn't the Huskar game. It got shaken up. But That's something OG yeah. could also do. Uh, could pick a Dazzle Whoa. here. Could move it on to Huskar. That would be um, quite something. It'd be a decent 3-4. I wonder actually if they, they themselves could go for like a, a Mag Jug or a Mag Troll finish, OG, if they wanted to. I mean, there's a hero that you can they use could. to try and punish Tusk. You know, if he's not careful with those snowball saves, it could end up being something bad. You've got great setup for the ultimate. I think I think they're gonna dazzle Huskar. Like, you actually think Huskar could? 
It's That's really so how good it against Lundrid. Yeah. It's so good against yeah. Lundrid because okay. you're going to get so much armor. The bear has to hit you through yeah. all this armor. And you can just throw Burning Spears the whole time, which means that Lundrid can't just easily build an item against you to be survivable. Sure. Just like cuts right through the main hero. It's it's effective against Disruptor. Disruptor, you're going to glimpse or silence a... a, 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 a okay, no yeah. Burning Spears, I guess, yeah. for five seconds, just, big deal. He just stands there, hands off exactly. the keyboard, yeah. He's just like, well, you're not going to kill me with that damage and at all. Maybe Tusk is a little scary because he can keep your Husker from running away, but most of the time Husker will just turn and fight in those cases. So I feel like this is the you Husker pick. Like I'll, just, I mean, I'll be interested if they do do it. If we're talking about nightmares, it, Liquid's about to relive their nightmare from yesterday. Maybe. Mate, unless unless they have some, unless they have some uh, Huskar counter up their sleeve. I, I think I, I, I'd put my money on the OG going back to basics, and they're just going to pick like Terrorblade Dazzle. That's what I think. Ooh. It's there. You know, it's, I don't know if you want a Terrorblade against Disruptor. That's a little scary. I think like, you don't, most people don't, but OG, they'll be like, oh, yeah, Terrorblade. I don't, we'll see. I'd love to see them do something different like the Husker. I think that'd be very entertaining to see if they can indeed do the same as was done yesterday uh, against Liquid. But. What about like a... They could, no, they're going to Wraith King, actually. It's either Wraith King or Husker. Nah, no, Wraith 100%. King? Yeah, yeah. Do you they, think? All right, look at it this way. Okay, if, okay, if you Husker, you don't, have a, you, don't have a sun you don't have a Sun setup. Stun setup for Sun Strike. Okay. Wraith King provides that. Wraith King also counters Lone Druid because he double crits on the bear. I think it's going to be Wraith King. And that's, that's typically an OG pick. They, they pulled that out first against the Lone Druid. Um, against Enigma, I'm not as sold, but it's kind of the same thing. Team Liquid's got a lot of team fight ultimates. Even if he gets Disruptor ultied, he's still going to respawn. Well, let's see. Which I'm, is potentially I'm good. Yeah, I'm very excited to see what with, with that said, Tusk has yeah. very good and uh, disables and spells that he can cast yeah. as Wraith King respawns. So it's sometimes difficult, but I don't know if I'd do it against an Enigma. That's where things get a little bit hazy because Malefus is fantastic against slow melee cores, but they could also just Huskar. But then you got pure damage. Against Huskar, that's dangerous, yeah. especially like Midnight Pulse Midnight versus Pulse Grave is, is amazing. Him, yeah. All right, that's their offlane. That's your S4. Yep. Yeah. Um, Disruptor is good against Brew because of Static Storm, but if they don't kill him during it, then it's dangerous. Um, Brewmaster is pretty good against Lone Druid right now because if you use the AoE Dispel, it'll just remove Rabbit, and Rabbit's on a very low cooldown at the moment. The uptime is 25 out of 35, so that would be 25 movement speed and 50 attack speed for the Bear and Lone Druid. Can catch both. And he can easily ulti run the Storm Panda out to the side of the fight and try to prepare for Enigma Black Yeah, it's, it's so good. So there's Enigma. so yeah, many so fights. many good things about the Brew Pick here. Yeah, and S4, again, he's super strong. I don't want to jinx him because I, I built up the S4 puck last game, but S4 Brew is another one. He's, you know, incredible, you know, in, in, especially in comparison to a lot of other offlaners. Not a lot of offlaners play. Ball Purge, Liquid, Ooh. they're listening to you. But they're on the same thought train as you. They don't want to go against that Wraith King that you felt the OG and D could have gone for. Him. You know, I, I don't think they would have banned Brew. I feel like maybe they pick Wraith King there if they really did want to do it. But you think, yeah, you would have liked to, yeah. If, and I wanted if they to be right. To I also wanted to be correct. But I mean, they can still Huskar. I, I, Huskar's Huskar. still okay. okay. It's kind of dangerous against okay. Enigma. I'd say if it wasn't Enigma, if it was a different offlane, they'd, like a beast or something, I'd feel comfortable um, with it. But. It's, I'm it's even looking at I'm, I'm wondering if they just go and try the Gyro again. They've got a really good lineup to, for Gyro Culture to work with. Like, it's a much better uh, lineup, I feel, as well. Yeah, it's pretty good, I guess. Against Enigma, it's pretty good. I would say. Yeah, it's pretty good because you can clear Eidolon. Fight... It's easy. And... Because I think they really want to try and fight before Lone Druid has Midas Radiance. If they can do that and get the tempo yeah. going. Yeah, that's a great point. They could just try and hotel Gyro again. Or they could do, like, Sven, maybe. Sven, Sven I also don't think it's bad. Yeah. Sven's okay. It's kind of bad. You get, you get kited up quite bad, I guess, by Disruptor Tusk Enigma, especially before and, you have and that And Lone Druid, even. Like, yeah. any, any yeah, right. a lot of melee yeah. cores are just dangerous. So they do Brood. I think, I think they're going to Huskar here. I don't, uh, yeah, I don't think you ban Brood if you're going to pick Sven. You're gonna, they're going to pick something that doesn't... That's like a... Yeah, they, oh. they're going to they're pick a vulnerable carry that wow. had some issues. This, one's, right. this pick's a little weird because they only weird. have three range, but it kind of follows the tempo that they want, which okay. is heavy pressure. They'll have a silence in the back. They don't really want their, their melee carry to have, um, to be just like, they don't want their carry to be a melee, basically, because he's going to get caught in oh, black hole more I often. I, I, I'm a little worried, though, for the Drow this game. I don't think it's an easy game for a Drow Ranger. It's definitely tough because yeah. of, like, Enigma, mostly Tusk, Disruptor, Quap, I would say. Mm. But if they can get tempo going, they can make it work. But I definitely want to see some kind of a battle build, maybe. Like, they need to, like, get level 6 on Drow and just mess up and towers. Just, they need to just Like, go. just mess up towers. They need, they need to get tier 1s and they need to get tier 2s before he's got his Radiance on Lone Druid. And then Maybe. ideally have some kind of a fairly safe battle build. Even something like a, I mean, a BKB you, on Drow I think is really important this Do you game. build drums on Drow? 
Uh, it's kind of bad because it gives you six int. You don't really need that. I, yeah, I, I you might... could get the drums on Invoke. I guess we'll know with Invoke. We very rarely see the Yeah, there's chains. no way. It you could, always get Midas eggs. Yeah. It could be on Dazzle, maybe. Actually, but S4, S4 might build it on the brew. I, I think it's too expensive. You think it's. You can get a mana perk at 10, so you don't really need the mana. Okay. I, I'd prefer that brew gets. I mean, it's not awful on the brew because when you split, you'll get 20 movement speed for your brewlings, but that's not that much. Yeah. I'd prefer he goes Blink Dagger or. Maybe Ags, but probably Blink first. I mean, he could get, honestly, he could get drunk. It, it would help him smooth his curve a bit. But I think No-Tail has to go for a BKB this game. I don't, I don't think anything else is going to work very safely. So. Yeah, I think, yeah, it's just going to be very interesting to see what No-Tail does do. Because if he does really need a BKB, it's, it's like, where do you put that into your build? Like, cause you you want to have something else that's going to be able to give you a bit of punch. Be able to he has to get it. Like a, against like a Quap and a Disruptor and a Tusk, he has to have BKB oh. this game. There's there is no way that he can get away without it. Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. Game two, OG versus Liquid. The lineups are in. Last game was not pretty at all for OG. They tried to to build around those early game, mid game fights and such, but it didn't work out. Liquid got massively ahead and took it all the way to the finish. Up top already. Jarex and GH training hits. And uh, Jarex will get the ward down. He has skilled his skill. He's going for a Thunder Strike here. So Let's see if they bring a sentry over. Um, they actually don't have one, I don't think. No sentries on Liquid. So uh, that's, oh, no, uh, he, just, he just got one out in the carrier. Oh, okay. He just got one just there. Yeah. Instantly. And he's going to run back to Fountain first. Just to, doesn't want to waste any sentries or clarities or anything. Yeah, he's still got yeah, 40 seconds of time yeah. before it kicks off. So Same thing for Jarex. So. Just yeah. sprinting all the way home. Fast Orb of Venom there on Tusk. And it looks like they might. I think I think Tusk is probably going to be aggressive in the offlane. Okay. Most likely. Stay down there. Is that the best lane for really like early levels at least to have some Just impact? Punish the Drow. Like yeah. Drow's pretty crappy pre six. Like very weak hero in that way. I guess Dazzle's good in lane though, so I can offset it. Plus Drow aura. So maybe S four will have a tough lane. It's kind of hard to say. There's a lot of places Curl could go. Maybe he isn't going to have a lot of success. That could be really helpful for them. For, for OG, that is. Because they need to win a game here. Got to take it back. Two wins in a row for OG to win the series out. And if they don't, they're in a bad spot because they're 1-1 one one right now, they're, actually. Yeah, they're so in a risky position. It's if, gonna, if this Liquid wins gonna be, this, they're yeah, even. They're going to be, yeah. And that's really dangerous because OG has lost 0-2 twice, I, or once, I believe. So if they lose 0-2 here, that means Liquid's actually ahead of them. Because OG, uh, when Liquid lost one game, they got one game on it. So this is actually super dangerous for OG. Yeah, we just gotta step Th it up. This is a chance to get eliminated from the tournament in the group stage. They still have one more match after this, but boy, this is a bad place to sit with one game down. What trialing mid? Yeah, GH and Kuroki coming in to help out Miracle. Anna's got Jarex, but indeed they have the numbers. They bring uh, Liquid there with that first bit of a burst attack onto Anna. And I guess that's uh, what we side lanes, you know, Matumba. I guess in this 1v1, he doesn't really need support, does he, against the S4? If he wants to get the farm. If he wants to get a kill, I guess, but he's not going to be bullied out of the lane by this bro. Yeah, uh, he has been casting Drunken Haze to help him miss some last hits, but at least he's got two attacks. The bear damage is not quite the same. So he's got a Qualian Blade, though, so it should be doable. Uh, and they rotate back up to the top lane, so Bruce got to be a little careful here. Crow could block him with Ice Shards, and he's going to run now. Let's have a look how to play this. There's the initial block. Kuroko now looking for the body block. And it, I'll tell you what, it's going to work out as well for the most part. S4 taken down as Kuroki with the sharp play comes yeah. in and gets them the kill. Really tough there for Brew to do much of anything else. Like maybe he turns and casts a Drunken Haze, but then he's not walking and could add up to be his death anyways. So S4, man. A lot of deaths between last game and now this one. He's been having some very tough off lanes. Yes. Yeah. Mind control offlane enigma. We'll see how this works out. Oftentimes, it's a little easy to punish this. Like, you can feed Eidolons. It's difficult to stay in the lane. If you get dived, it's very tough to stop them from running you over because it takes some levels for Enigma actually to be safe in that. But Fly's just killing those Eidolons now. So for Tacey plus 70, they mind control. He was able to deny at least one of them. So that was something. But that's still really rough for him because yeah. he doesn't have Eidolons, which means he has to wait around. He also has to use a Clarity to even get enough mana to use. Demonic conversion again, so it's it's not easy to play Enigma and actually contest your lane. This is only kind of a good hero right now because you get experience from denying Kuro in trouble. Yeah, Kuroki tries to go in on Anna. Jarex is going to be there with the reaction. Anna tries for the Sun Strike, isn't going to clip, so Kuroki will be fine. Back. Ooh, Anna's in trouble. Miracle jumps back. He gets the kill there with a the Shadow Strike and the right click, and Jarex he, he can't punish it. Miracle 
coming back into the final. Are they going to get Jarex as well? Are they? Oh no! Still got the roll, but that mid lane is looking a bit rocky here for for OG. Yeah, big mistake. Um, they miscoordinated there. Jarex didn't get the Boulder Smash off the same time they did the Sun Strike, so they lost their kill and they went too aggressive. And there's two points of dagger on the Quap, so I think Invoker took a little bit more damage than he expected. Bottom lane fly trying to do his best to terrorize him out. Kuroki, if he's playing on the edge of his seat here. He yeah. uses this haste. He's got to be a little careful. There is a, an invoker in the game, but uh, he that's, feels that's fine. Double bounty run. That's yeah. actually a lot of Value. experience, especially <laughs> maybe not so much early game, but mid game. Bounty run's going to really make a big difference. So. Dazzle's up to level two. He's actually matching Enigma in terms of levels. I, I, I think the Enigma offlane is not working so well. Yeah. This is maybe a little bit overdone, I would say. It's definitely punishable, that's for sure. He's going to have to go for a soaring this game. Won't be able to greet out the boots arcanes. The bright side is you can deny the, your own range creeps and you get a little experience for it. So that's, that's what makes it a little better than previous. Helps offset the, the jungling nerf. Jump in onto Anna. Jax will be there with the reaction. Gets the two-man boulder smash. Sunstrike will connect. Can Miracle get the kill first? He can't. Miracle will go down. Anna will still fall. At least Anna was alive there for the kill onto Miracle first. But at the end of the day, that's going to mean that Kuroki gets himself some nice solo XP. Yeah, so that kind of evens things up a little bit, uh, with the exception that Kuro is still getting kills. So um, Kuro is happy. I think pretty much everybody's happy on both sides. It's a just a, about a even trade. Just looking at this side lane's AGH. And as far as he came across towards that rune spot. CS for the two safe laners, 19 for no tail, 24. Anna could die again mid. A little low on man. Actually, he's, he can wand and snowball there. They could have maybe killed him, but it would have been dangerous. Yeah, still, I mean, I guess they're very aware that Jarex can come in for the turnaround, not too sure on his whereabouts. And the last few times when they made that jump, it's, it's been pretty close with the plays from Jarex, nearly turning it around. And it's just not quite. So each occurs. I forgot about this. Frost was actually lasts really long on creeps. And it's actually kind of worth it on Eidolons, since uh, it takes a couple hits to work them down. And he's getting. At least some of them out there, still mind control. Being pretty hot with the, the deny gain. Making sure that he doesn't feed too much away with the item on play. The experience gain is not bad. But it's really about the gold, so any deny is worth it. How's Beast doing? Or uh, Brew, that is. Level 4? Not too bad. Yeah, I mean, now he's moved forward. He's with the body blocks and the thunder strike. Matumba and GH, they're going to get the kill. Matumba mm -hmm. man picks it up. Extra 200 or so in the bank. It's a really good move there to go for two Thunderstrike because uh, Glimpse and more right clicks is kind of unreliable against Brewmaster. Instead, they just get more damage. And GH consistently is just playing Disruptor exactly how, how it's needed. Bottom lane, Jax is making the move over. Maybe seeing if they can punish Mind Control's Enigma. But uh, well, with the big Eidolon push coming through, I mean, Mind Control is he's going very deep on this. He could be in a lot of trouble, and indeed, Jax spots him out. This should be a surefire kill for this OG. Is the most dead hero I've ever seen. And, that, and that's basically offlane Enigma. Like, if you get into a bad spot, you are very dead. Anna almost gets killed by Kuro. Kuro diving him, but Pop the Shrine and head back. Anna's just been pressured a lot this game. On the bright side, at least, Miracle's experience is not extremely out of hand because it's pretty much been a dual lane. Uh, yeah, true, yeah. So even ish there, yeah. but the safe lane for, for Liquid's going so much better. And I would say Mind Control's definitely feels more stable than um, than Brewmaster right now. Yeah, level four and a half, what was we seeing on the XP difference? That's for, yeah, even, but yeah, definitely the fact that he's been giving up kills to Matumba Man. That's where the issue arises between the two. That mid lane, Jarex tried to come in and tried to bring Kuroki down, but Kuroki. And Miracle there with the, they're there with the reaction. And Jarex just playing a wow. too too close to the tower. Top lane. Glimpse back onto S4 and Liquid. They're gonna get this one again. Matumba Man with the good body blocks and oh. the root. They've got him. Another kill for Matumba Man onto S4. Jarex will roll forward, but in fact, they could try and if they get the root here, he's gonna die. They've got maybe one more hit to, to try and get it. Oh, oh he does man. it! Matumba Man with the play. Is he always oh, looking at he lets Ooh, him go. Pulled back too early. Ooh, that okay. would have been so Ooh, huge yeah, if he got a yeah, double she... there, but yeah. okay, pulls maybe. back too early. Was yeah. that a was that a wand or something? No, 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 no. He, no. Just... he literally just stopped hitting him. I think he he just thought the yeah. just was... thought the entangle would finish him off. I guess. A flame for S4. That's for sure. Ooh, almost getting the bear. Trying to get the bear there. I, it wouldn't have done enough damage actually. They needed to do more, but two or three more hits. 
deep ward for Crow to spot some rotations. That's the hero they have to worry about is really where where Earth Spirit is. And it's gotta be careful. There's a Sonic Wave up on Miracle. I mean, I guess Hannah's trying to bait for Jerax, but in fact, well, there's going to be backup here. The Sonic Wave comes on to do, but oh, instant oh. border smash onto him. He's silenced as well, and Jerax there with the reactions, turning this one around massively, gets Kuroki as well. Perfect silence timing, catching the quap that after so she sick. blinks him. Yeah, it wasn't the silence, it was actually the boulder smash. Like, as soon oh, as the oh. snowball ended, yeah. The the boulder smash comes through, it stuns him, and then obviously Miracle's going to blink forward, but because he didn't roll in first, they didn't see it coming necessarily. Just perfect anti-gank there by Jerex, and he's oh, they might get oh, Crow too. He's diving towers, he's kicking them back into the gust. No tail coming in with a the rotation. They've got the damage, or have they? He'll buy himself some time with the snowball. Flies there as well, though the heal bomb comes through, they will get the kill. Jerex may be punished for this miracle, jumps across, will no! They get the deny, no tail with the sweep deny, denying him. Under the cover of the Shadow Stride Poison, now they're potentially turning for more. GH trying to man up, no tail, and now they're trying to man up harder. And with the heal bomb, they might get miracle, he's cold snapped up. Anna and Fly get the kill. All right, they're, they're just outplaying their opponents a little bit, even using Drow Ranger really well. He, he rotates in, he gets a great gust off to help kill Miracle the first time, and then Alacrity on top of him, Drow Ranger hits hard at that point. And Anna as well, finishing off Miracle for a second time in a row there. I believe that was two deaths. There's a lot, so many heroes that yeah, died, it was hard to keep track in, of. And when he came in again, he did manage to finish off No-Tail, but yeah, he gets taken down in return. Great rotation by Drow Ranger. He's actually going to go to the off lane this time. That's... Good idea as well. Uh, Lone Druid, very vulnerable hero. He's going to have Savage Roar. He does take the offlane tower himself, or at least the, the Radiant safe lane, but it's the time to pressure. Might just find a support, though. It's just GH sitting on the top lane trying to get a six. Trying to close in upon it. He's got his ult, so if he either gets a clap. This? Yeah, if he gets a clap, he's going to ult you. There you go. Should be a kill. Yeah, especially with the Sun Strike coming in as well. Anna picks himself up a bit of involvement from it. That has got to feel good. Uh, using his, what's it called? Demolish skill to do bonus building damage. Yeah, and it's starting to bring it down at a pretty serious speed, especially yeah. with no tail in the name. But it's just got to be a little careful. Uh, there is a TP coming in from the trees. There's Kuroki. He's got eyes on him, and he's just going to go straight in. S4, he's going to try and survive here a little bit with the evasion. Miracle's just going to ignore him. Let Kuroki finish that one off. He's hunting for no tail, but no tail will be quick with the TP out. So they do manage to bring down the tower and get out. Oh, oh, sorry, they don't. What am I about? Miracle had his eyes on the prize and just wasn't quite enough. Yeah. Good TP spot by S4. Um, I'm sure it felt really good to get that kill, but unfortunately but it went to Anna instead. Yeah, Anna gets involved. They got a bear gank in the mid lane, by the way. They did keep that tower alive. And oh, yeah, here, Jerax has the invis. Miracle trying to find him. This is bad for Miracle, actually. He can't blink. Oh, no. Never mind. He's got it. He's going to turn back. He's got, got this DD running. But uh, he doesn't want to jump up to the high ground. A little too risky. But again, another game, 10 minutes in and incredibly chaotic between these two teams. Yep. Still haven't really seen the Enigma much. It's been everybody else on OG's team moving around, taking fights, but nothing quite there. It's... They're trying oh, to that's right. This, this is the new Helm of the Dominator build. That was very confused. It's like, well, Ring of Health? What is this? Wait, someone's building Helm of the Dominator perch? Yeah, yeah Draw Ranger. It's, I don't think it's too bad. Um, he's already found an Alpha Wolf, so... Alright. I mean, this is... I can't remember the last time I saw that item. I don't think anyone's built that in years. It's been a while, for sure. But it's 30% damage aura, so it's 30 damage. It's not bad. 20 attack speed. Jarrett, again, with the perfect setup onto Miracle. Silence into the smash, and with the Gust from No-Tail, they'll pick up a second. OG again, this mid lane. Certainly seems to be the place for them to be this game. As, uh... They are just taking these fights so much better than they were in, in game one. And it's, uh, again, as you said, uh, just a different hero composition and the way that they're m maneuvering the, the Drow Ranger just seems to have so much more power at this stage of game in comparison to what the Jaro was able to do. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really not a bad item in some cases. Like, uh, yeah. it's definitely was over purchased for a bit, but on some heroes, if you're planning to fight a lot, 10 HP per second is insane for you and your team sure. and your creep wave. Like, that's, that's push power. Between that and Ring of Aqua, you can push so rapidly. Yeah, 10 H or that is. Yeah, yeah it's very effective. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm actually surprised that we haven't seen it as much because of that. That is. But it's also expensive. It's, it's sure. like 2,000 gold, price, yeah. 2,025 gold right now. Um, the it really falls off at some point. Regen just doesn't matter because you'll die in two seconds anyways. But um, definitely can be a good item, and I think for Drow, it's a good solution for her her survivability issues and any harass she might take. Timber man. On the deep here. In fact, harassing S4 back. S4 halfway towards that blink dagger, something he desperately needs to, to get himself better involved with these team fights. 2k gold towards the relic on the lone druid. Jax 
again, hiding out in the tree line, just making sure that if there's a chance to go mid, he'll be there, and there may be a chance to go mid, no tell coming in That's to join him. One. There's a haste time miracle, so that means even if he does get the disables off, that means he only has like two seconds and to kill. And there's backup as well, Kuroki and GH are here. OG have got to be careful now in the mid lane. They're yeah. going to look for, to, for potential wraparound. Jarek's trying to get himself out of there, but the static storm comes through, but in return, the gust comes out from no tail, catches oh. three miracles out, Jarek survives, and now OG, they're ready to change up, but Mike oh. is in. He does get the two-man black hole. Matuma man as well, ripping it to S4 with the graves out. S4 comes in with the clap, Mike control's taken down, and they've just got to get themselves the hell out of here, Liquid, because OG, they're hungry and they're looking for more. They've already found two. They'll turn towards Kuroki with the poison touch. S4 already controlling up the backline is finding Matuma Man has the stun. They'll have the Sunstrike connecting as well. No, just off the mark. Because of that, Matuma Man, can he get himself out? Jarex rolling forward, trying to block him off, saying, you want this shrine? You ain't gonna get this shrine. OG get themselves the kill on Matuma Man. And what a fight for them indeed. Just a little too forced by Liquid in quite an awkward position. Yeah, and if I could have gone completely different, I was just, I was looking at Notel. I was waiting for the moment where they dive in and kill him almost at the start, but instead it was the perfect beginning. Earth Spirit gets a full combo off on the, the Queen of Pain. It looked like she was going to survive, but between the urn and the magnetized damage, it was just enough to kill her. And because she goes down, despite the huge black hole coming out of Enigma, there wasn't quite enough follow-up damage. It was only Matuma Man, and you know, this stage he's only got a he's only got a Midas on. There's, yep. It's not that scary in these team fights. But if Quap was alive during that, even oh. if she had 100 HP and all she does is Sonic Wave, whole fight changes. So man, this, this game is so close. Both teams reading each other. They know where the fight is going to be. They show up, but all comes down to small factors and who plays better. It really, really does. Only a 500 gold difference in it at the moment. And S4 has almost got his blank dagger now. So yeah, that's that's big. Pretty much all the all the issues that OG had in the early game are mostly solved, and the towers are equal across the map too. I see Noto trying to put a difference to that though. It's, it's working on this tier one, uh, will definitely be a defense coming through from, from Liquid, and Noto's going to play it safe, backing off, not wanting to stick around to finish that off. He knows it might cost him his life, and in fact, talking about costing people their lives. Top lane, S4 is jumped upon. They will surround him. He's got no ult. He's got no escape. And Miracle and Matumba will be able to take him down. And he did, of course, manage to pick up that Blink Dagger before he falls. Tried to get the, the Blink purchase into Insta TP, but it didn't work out. Middle lane. Mid lane. I mean, just these two heroes, Jerax and Anna. Uh, Spirit and Invoker, at this stage, they can do that. And they yeah. can do that against a lot of the heroes on Liquid's lineup as well. Oh, he catches GH. This is really bad for him. It pulled snap? Yep. Jarax. Stepping it up here in this game. The sniping people, man. And Miracle is going to try and hunt him down. And uh, should be able to find it. Oh, no! Fly! Coming out in time with the Shallow Grave. They, they will possibly need to deny him unless they can heal him through it. They may be able to save him. In fact, Miracle will jump out. And Jarax, that Shadow Strike is going to be close. But he's going to live. S4 with that blink was able to, in fact, cut Miracle up on the side of it all. Looks like Miracle will be able to blink again and does survive. They won't bother hunting him, it would take too long. And mid lane, no tell and Anna. At the same time, whilst that fight's going on, they're pushing mid and they're catching out Kuroki with a gust. Not good. This and is it's, it's starting to look like maybe this is the opposite of game one. This yeah. could very well continue to go OG's way with this Drow lineup if Liquid aren't able to just put a stop to him in one of these fights. Especially if they can delay the, the Radiance here. Oh. oh, Jerex finds him! Easiest kill of Jerex's life. Oh, that's it. That was a that's, gimme right there. But he did yeah. react at the perfect time there. Well, I've got the banner in though. He got the root. He got the root. That's all that matters. There we go. Worth. And Jerex made so much happen. 6 no, 2 8. This is just ridiculous. actually insane. We've been treating some great uh, spirits today. Our food's our spirit early, and Jerex is. Yeah. That's just. Doing uh, so much amazing with impact. And, and to the fact is, I mean, you pointed this out in Arfu's game. You know, it's, you could do so much with this hero if you're a, if you are a, a, you know a bit of a demigod. Uh, when you have no items, you don't need any any goal to do much you just need the levels and yeah. it's it's ridiculous how much potential this hero has in comparison to a lot of others he's got both now uh, blink dagger up yeah, level 11. To, yeah. every time he uses his ultimate he's doing minimum 300 damage yeah. he's getting uh, 200 from geomagnetic grip and 200 from boulder smash so that's what 700 magic damage plus the rolling boulders another 100 so 800 magic damage full combo and a sun strike and nice. he can blink so if he finds any hero a lot of them are dead Disruptor is dead. Tusk is dead. Probably. Raindrops can make a big difference right now, actually. Maybe one way that you can offset this. But a lot of the heroes on the enemy team are going to have to worry about that combo. Even in the team fights, it gets scarier. 
they really need Matuma Man to find that Radiant. And he's nearly got the Relic, so... They look to be safe in that hurdle. Even with the, the Radiant sure, stuff, I'm, not, I'm yeah. not sold on the Lone Druid uh, this game against the Drow. I don't know if it'll be effective. Um, I'm not sure if the Frost Arrows last longer on the Bear or not. I feel like it doesn't. Probably not, because it's treated as a hero most of the, the time, isn't it? Most of the time. Yeah. Not all the time, but I mean, you never know with Dota, do you? There's always exceptions. Yeah. Um, but either way, I think Drow does so much range DPS and has really good um, slow that I think she can deal with the Bear decently. As long as it's kind of like a poking situation where... Liquid pushes with it, with it uh, pressures the tower. I think the Drow can deal with that, basically. Radiance is up, and can OG kill Roche before they get here? Yeah, because Liquid would love to head over and fight this. They've got a DD rune as well, but I don't think they can make, can they make this journey quick enough. It's going to be close. There's no doubt about that. Roshan falling. I, I think... Oh, the bear's coming in just oh, in the, time. The war could be huge. Oh, can the they do anything? Yeah, there's going to oh, be... Oh, he has to Roche. It's solo. No tail. Get back in there. Okay, he's going to leave it to Anna. Anna will finish it off. So they get themselves the Roche on the side of it all. Jarex has already kicked off the fight. Gets the magnetize onto the two of them. S4 looking for the disruptor kill. Already mind control being forced out. Doesn't get the chance to get anything off in the fight. And Jarex looking for more. Boulder smash onto Matuma Man. They pick up a third. They get Roche. They get the Aegis. And they get Liquid the hell out of there. Back to their graves as OG just dominate them, and again, Curl it's the old die. stone man, Jarax. Just perfect fight there by OG. Mostly that uh, the Enigma didn't get into place, and the Disruptor didn't get his silence off on onto um, S4. I didn't see where he used it before he went down, but if you if Brew gets his ulti off, and the Aegis is secured, and Anna's dealing with the Enigma, fight's over. No-Tail should be vulnerable in those circumstances, but boy is he backed up. How can Liquid slow this down? It, it really is just that the series turned on its head from game one to game two. It's been a treat to watch some exemplary performances from players in both games. This one definitely seeming to be the Jarak show. Oh, look at the Glooms back onto S4. He's caught with the blink out. And Liquid will hold at least the racks. The tier three is to fall though. And OG will of course look for those outer objectives and clean up those shrines and keep themselves ahead in this game. You know, there was one casualty in that fight. The Alpha Wolf is dead. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. It'll get a new one though. It'll move on in life, no time. It's just not the same. It is. Oh, never mind. Oh. There's one in the jungle. He'll be okay. Oh, look at this up top. Jerax is getting gone on. Tries to roll out. The block will be there. He's got the backup of the team. Anna comes in with a tornado. The silence there onto Miracle. Miracle oh, can get himself out. He can't. God. He's caught in position. Deafening blast across the cliff. And Miracle's got to buy back for this fight. Jerax still alive with the grave from fly. Gets the magnetized off. Kuroki's going to drop. And OG, they're trying to get themselves out now. They're not going to make it. Miracle jumps in with the Sonic Wave. This was a buyback. He cannot die again. This is going to be huge if they can find it. And oh, he didn't get a dog. He got himself a rock, man. Didn't work out though. Blink touches a stun, but... <laughs> ooh. Dangerous fight there for Liquid. Killing the Drow is a big pickup, though. Oh, ooh, and that Anna would glimpsed. be a huge one as well. Yeah, glimpsing Anna back. They've got him rooted up. Can he get his way out of this one? He cannot. The Aegis is popped. Can his team do anything to save him? Throw S4, the boulder. S4's got all in five seconds. They're just going to black hole this straight up. They ain't messing around. They're making sure that they get the Anacorn. But the Graves out. In comes S4. He's got the ornament available. Can he get it up? No. He's being stunned. He's being robbed. Still gets it out. Finally. Now can he turn and get any kills out of this? He'll turn towards mind control. The armor's already ticking down low with the weave. Can he finish it off? The rock comes flying through. He needs to at least get something and he will. He takes down mind control. Now turning towards Miracle. Getting stunned up. Trying to focus the co-op. Can S4 do it? He's got the control. He's going to have another stun off the back of this. No! The blink away from the blink. They blink apart in beautiful synchronicity. S4 will escape. Ooh. I mean, that's one way to do it. I thought I thought S4 was screwed. Gets the ult off. Cool. But he gets a kill. And he, he got co-op solo. The co-op had to run yeah. out of fear of death. He and it was very die. close. It, he, he dropped from the cyclone. He almost threw the boulder, but so smart close. juking from Miracle and... That would have guaranteed the kill, because that would have been Boulder into Clap into Blink, Wait, and Miracle would have died. Jarex do something here. Of course he can. He's Jarex, dude. I mean, he's Jarex. He's level 12. He's got level 2 he ulti. play around with that. It's now does 450 magic damage he's, he's for got, a full magnetize. He's keeping eyes on this. He really wants to. Here's Jarex. He's got backup coming in as well. Anna's there. Matuma Man. He's got oh, to be scared. They're going straight oh, in. Oh, and no, magnetize is down. Savage Raw trying to buy Matuma Man some space. The root from the bear will buy him some time. Tornado's going to miss. Anna, does he land the sun strike? Oh! The boulder smash across the trees into the sun strike. That was perfect. Yeah. Anna gave him a little vision with the tornado win. <laughs>
lands the stun. Not the best place for Matumba Man to be, I feel, but mostly that's a great ward. They had the ward down, they spotted him. Oh, Mike gonna, might Jared. find another one. He's thinking about it. He hasn't got any rocks. He doesn't need it. Just gives Anna a kick up the backside, puts him into position. Get in there. And I don't think I need to observe. I'm just going to double tap on Jarex and leave him for the rest of the game. I might as well do that. Look, he's like, oh, 22 minutes. Let's, let's get a BKB. I'm in a lot of fights. I've been here. <laughs> I mean, all right, this, this, is what, this is the most needed thing that I've ever clicked on oh. in my life. Ooh. I mean, look at that. That's a lot of time. 11k. That's, he's done more. He's uh, done the same more as than the, the quap. He's done more, almost as much as the highest damage deal on the enemy team. Like, that is. it's actually insane how much damage he's done. There was like a stun, seconds of stun or something. Like, I assume it's also incredible. Assist. Assist. Dazzle can just weave the whole team and he collects assists. Jarek's yeah. got to work Fly, for flies it. Flies cheating. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's kills. That's kills. Yeah. Deaths. Deaths. Also, almost, she's oh, trying he, to win in deaths, too. He's feeding a bit. He's feeding a bit. Died three times. Just, that's, that's unacceptable. Just a ridiculous game, man. Yeah, it is. They're realizing, hey, Earth Ur Spirit's still good, guys. And I do like, as well, he's not buying the Yule Scepter. On Earth Spirit? Yeah. Because yeah. we all know what happened last time. <laughs> it's true. We don't want to see that again. Never again. Never again. Link Dagger and BKB, though, as you said, is just perfect this game. You should be getting yeah. a great time. We're only, we're only 23 minutes into the game. That's true. You would forget that if you looked at some of these heroes. They're getting a lot. Jarek's on the same bar as S4's farm. It's, it's just insane how much he's getting. I mean, what, what is Liquid's plan, though? It was start to see 26 or 13 coming up to a 10k gold lead. How did Liquid put a slow down to this? I mean, at the moment, they're just trying to secure that farm from Matumba Man. He's it's... nearly got a flash, just building up items that are going to help them just that little bit in these team fights that OG are dominating. Yeah, they just gotta they win. Do. They gotta win fights. That's most of it. And um, they've got a mech on Enigma, but him even getting into the fight is really tough. Like against an Earth Spirit, it's so hard if you're playing a Blink initiating hero to play it effectively because most likely you're taking magnetized damage or he stuns you or he silences you. Um, if you go Blink first, it's also kind of dangerous too because sometimes you Blink into the stun of the silence. That can be a really tough thing. Uh, but Mech is finished. He's going to build towards Blink next and then they need to find some grouped heroes and take a fight. Yeah. Ideally without Brew getting his ulti off. Ideally without Drow silencing. Like, they actually it's, have such good I mean, heroes it, it, against it, the Enigma. The, it, the Drow really needs a BKB really before help. he can fight, yeah. But I mean, he also needs Blink. Like it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's so tough. Yeah. It's a bit of a conundrum for, for mind control. There we go. Bottom lane. OG. I need to push on again. The tornado on the bear. See if a I want rare, to commit much for it. A rare ice wall missed by Anna. Yeah. So they are going to try and kill it here. And uh, they've got a good chance as well. And ooh, just to answer your question, it does look like it does actually last the seven seconds. On Seriously. The I was looking at it and that debuff okay. was ticking slower than 1.5. Makes a lot of sense because I, I feel like OG wouldn't just fall back on a Draw Ranger to think like, oh, we like the Draw Ranger strat. Mm. They, they do a little bit of meta behind behind their picks sometimes. Other times they pick the same heroes. But this time, they were thinking. Yeah. Seems like there are a lot of Lone Druid counters. I'm yeah. sure it's definitely something they were thinking about in lead up to this match today. Like, yeah. hey, Liquid's been picking Lone Druid. What carries can we pick that counter in? I mean, well, well, slow as well. It's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, sixty-four percent. Yeah. So yeah, just Plus having, that, cold snap. having that constantly on the bear. The bear, the bear's gonna do nothing. The bear really did finish a Vlad's recently. Yes, Matuma man's got that on the bear. Four whole armor, um, but, I, and I'm not flaming the choice. I think it's fine. Um, yeah. If there's a draw aura. You want to give your team as much armor as possible in a lot of cases, and he'll go AC next, which basically solves issues. Tankiness for himself and uh, a little bit of life steal and good stuff like that. I mean, that really, that is, that is quite a hard counter, isn't it? Those frost arrows. If I'm it really just, does last seven seconds, it, yeah. I don't believe like, you yet, but... You don't believe me? I gotta see I mean, unless my, my counter was really bad, just as I said, click on the bear and you see the little circle guy. I'm, I'm, I'm like 90, right, well, look, 97 Oh, you talk too fast, you, your seconds are too fast when you're counting backdoor regen. I think it's safe to say I don't trust your, okay. your estimation of seven. We'll have a look. You can double check. I'm, I'm pretty damn sure, yeah, they, they last the seven seconds on the bear. It's, it's good. Do you want to run the Will OD Pixel Miss first blood poll that I would plan to run? I didn't. I actually, I'll be honest. My observing has stepped up tenfold from last game. I think so. My observing seems to be on the same kind of line as OG's performance. Uh, the, both teams, you're really this, it's, it's a tempo game, right? Things happen all the time now, and you need to be there for that. And there's uh, yeah, 26, 13, 26 mm -hmm. minutes in. I mean, uh, it's... Brew went back for Vlad's. Um, he okay. went halfway to Vlad's, thought he would go BKB, finish the Vlad's now. Which is fine. It's like... Uh, 900 gold, 1,000 gold maybe to go back for it. And then I'll apply to his Brewlings. Uh, went for the Magic Resistance perk, because there is a lot of magic damage on his enemy team, and he needs to survive, get his ult off. It's going to be huge, actually, against Disrupt Ult, for example. Mm -hmm. But basically, Liquid is just sitting on their side of the map, waiting for, for an opportunity here. 
Queen of Pain has Orchid at least, but that's hard. Hard for them to find the same openings as last game. I don't know, I guess I'm looking at the heroes and you really need to Orchid the Dazzle. The Invoke or, has got to yours. Or the Brewmaster. Uh, Spirit's got to be kept. Or the Brewmaster. Brew, Brew's yeah, definitely yeah. the goal. But okay, you want to get the yeah. Got to have follow up, but and he, he you, can't get graved. I was going to say, yeah, if you got on the Brew, he's going to get graved, and he'll still get the ult off. At the oh, end of well, it. you could say that for any hero. Just about. Well, not Brew, obviously, because it's basically like an invulnerable heal thing if he ultis, but. Almost a Solar Crest, too. That'll be really nice. Who's got that? Oh, Dazzle, of course. Oh, oh, oh. The natural. Solar Crest carry. The king of Solar They do pop the smoke though, so it's time to party. There we go. One invis hero, four smoked heroes, pseudo invis. BKB is ready on Draw Ranger. It's definitely time for them to fight. Ah, oh, look who they found here. Miracle can they control him? Ooh, whose jewels was that? Okay, that was Miracle. Yes, yes, <laughs> that wasn't a mess up. That was a good play for Miracle to keep himself alive, dodging the initial jump forth from Jarex, but Jarex actually comes in, still gets three of them here with the Magnetize, and they're being forced back to base here. It's not what Liquid want, they're being caught outside of it all. They've lost GH, Miracle, and Matuma Man shrining up on the side, Kuroki trying to get his way back as well. Looks like the heal will be enough to keep them alive here. S4 quick with the blink out. Do shard oh. trap Anna here. Not really much they can do to punish that though. And Got them fact, to go on their base. Kuroki, Kuro oh, don't walk into that Sunstruck. We'll survive. No, Jarex! All right, didn't quite work out. Did a great job, though. But yeah, this is... I mean, I think Liquid are fine with this. You know, this is OG trying to find a fight. And uh, they've lost... There we go. Check it, check it, Purge. Check it, Purge. Yeah, yeah, seven seconds. Oh, wow. oh baby. Wow, it's so... That, I mean, look, the bear does so nothing. Good. The bear is like... Oh, I can't do anything. Still no BKB usage for no tail, but he's thinking about it. He doesn't want to get black hold though. And now he turns. That's a four-man gust, ladies it's and gentlemen. Come now. There we have it. Gets the two of them, but the quick tornado through from Anna, canceling it almost immediately. S4 still getting surrounded. Can they get him out of it? Anna finishes off mind control. There's going to be the jump forward. Looking for Fly with the Sonic Wave. Can Miracle actually get this kill with the snowball coming through? Fly will pop. The soul burns enough. Kuroki trying to chase down no tail. Has the shards. The uppercuts there as well. Liquid, they're turning this around. Anna, the last man left alive. He's going to use himself up. They do have sentries. They do not have the control, though. He blinks out to the side. Miracle will jump forward, and it just Up turns. Off. And with the Alpha Wolf damage, the wolf, the doggy is doing it. That's going to be a snowball coming through, trying to protect them. But Jarex, he PKs, he's up. Magnetize is out there, punished. They do get Anna, but they lose both of their lives to it. What a close fight, God. Back and forth all the time. I mean, OG's initiation was... It wasn't sloppy, but it was perfect defense there by, by Liquid. They tried to burst down the Quap. Yeah. She used the Yules at the perfect time to delay the Earth Bear Magnetize, but Jarex was not done. He walks in, uses Magnetize, forces everybody of Liquid to retreat, gave them a couple moments to hit buildings, but Glyph offsets that, and then it became this like slow OG trying to retreat without everybody getting glimpsed back thing. That ended with them getting some kills. It was okay. And the other important thing is that No-Tail's also not getting behind this game. He's still positive in KDA. He just finished his SNY. He's got a BKB. Yeah. He only used one charge. He's in a pretty good spot. But both teams also in similar positions. They're both still very viable this uh, game. Yeah. Important, but did of course lose the bear in that last fight. Oh, well, luckily for him, he transferred. Summer? He transferred the radiance before. I was going to say that must have been quick. I think he may have done that as soon as the bear started to get slowed down. Yeah, you're probably right. Because it's like. like well, the Radiance is going to do nothing when he's 64% slowed outside the side of the fight. Yeah. You've got to get it back on the main hero. Yep, absolutely. But, I mean, I guess even then, you're still at vulnerability of being hit by a Frost Arrow as well. But, yeah, that, you don't have to worry about seven seconds, of course. It's just 1.5, so at mm -hmm. least that's something. But it's just so hard to use the bear when there's a Drow in the game, as we're, we're starting to see. Yeah. It, it seems yeah. really... It's such a bad matchup. It's, it's not the worst thing, because if you have a gold advantage, like you can run down Drow it's, really easy, but... But boy, if, if you're doing a slow siege or you're equal net worth and you don't re feel ready to go in, it's not good. I mean, the question is, Perch, is it balanced? Should it 7 seconds slow the bear or should it just 1.5 seconds seven slow? 7 is pretty long. I, I mean, I would be comfortable with like half duration or something, but then that's another bullshit it's bear rule. Bullshit, yeah, it's another rule. You're, <laughs> you're, you're on the here. same vein of I thought for me yeah, there. I get like, what you mean. It's like... Yeah. That's, yeah, that's what my brain was thinking too. I think I, it does. it feels so good. It feels really it good. Feels but really good. I think honestly I think it's I think it's balanced. Okay. Oh, 
hello. Kind of. Oh. Just mostly bounce. I'd say mostly bounce. That, that was a little awkward. Oh, oh he gets him. Yeah, he's not going to go. I, I was expecting Jarrett to get. It, like, the cut is just bumped into each other here. And then he blinks away. And Jarrett, I think he was wondering if he kind of over blinked him. But uh, Jarrett's checking out all areas, making sure they catch him. What a snag. What, what a man. Looking for Miracle. Oh. He can be good. Either. He's kind of baiting here for the Gust. Miracle does have a BKB though himself this time round. Jump forward from Jarex, looking to hammer into GH. Miracle's got to get out here. GH won't be as lucky. Taken down. Jarex, he's looking to chase this down. He's he says, blink out. No. Oh, he misses the smash. If he'd hit that, that would have oh, been... He did hit it. Hit Matomba Man and his bear. Oh, Successful. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Let's just uh, recheck the damage dealt now that that was put in. What have and we got? Uh, still very high. Yeah. Miracle's overtaken him though now. Oh, okay. Good for him. Yeah, good for the quad. I mean... Magnetize is kind of cheating. It hits so many heroes. 2,000 gold in the bank past his BKB. It's going to buy Halberd now. Halberd as well. I like that. That's good. This like is it. really the screw the bear strat. Make sure it can do oh, nothing. I guess so. I mean, I don't think there's ever a game where buying Halberd is a bad thing, honestly. Yeah. Like, there's always going to be one hero right clicking you where you're like, yes, I would like to stop that. Which is it's really nice for Halberd. You know, this was an item that no one was ever building. But now, for like finally, three years for or like something, twelve years. It was Huskar or nothing. Yeah, for Nobody two millennia ever. before the game came out. Mind control looking for a dazzle kill. This is the wrong place for fly. This, this may be. Oh, sorry, Anna's going to. Yeah, they can get Anna as well. That'd be huge. But it looks like they don't have the vision for the glimpse back. It's a rare time that you see fly out of position. I, I didn't see the lead up to that, so maybe there were other circumstances like uh, Anna ditched him by blinking away or something. But out of position, for sure. Cheese, still on no tail, of course. And some white gold, uh, sorry, Halberd being very close now for Jerex. After this bit of, bit of downtime for himself as he's been farming up in the sidelines. Anna, kind of closing on to an Octary. Uh, Miracle, going for the Shiva's Guard next, something definitely necessary. He needs some sort of extra armor to, to help give him a bit of a chance when he gets jumped on. Even when he gets the BKB out, as we saw in that last fight, he's still very vulnerable to this Drow lineup. Mm -hmm. And um, Man, yeah, he still, he still needs more time. He's, he has got that AC now done. Once he gets the Mionet, then they've actually got a bit of damage to kick back with in these fights. But until that point, still OG with this, this Invoker and Earth Spirit, they are going to be pulling Liquid apart. Yeah. And throw the buff on his bear and run it in, feel better, I guess. But it's just going to still get slowed by so much. It was almost at level 18 as well, so more agility to come. 20 more. How much attack speed, Owen? Uh, plus 20! Oh, Purge. yes, you're the man. There we you're go. learning. I have, uh... Sir. Range barracks finally going down. But they will siege. Anna's going to be the one chipping buildings. They do have fortification in the liquid. So they can certainly put some sort oh. of a hold together. Oh, we missed the arrow. It doesn't last for seven seconds then. The hard counter. Flips. <laughs> you don't hit it. <laughs> the missed chance. BKB up on Brewmaster as well. So him getting his ultimate off. Guaranteed now. Anna's going to be able to finish this off. In fact, they don't even pop the fortification. So Liquid, I yeah. wanted to use it there. It, it wasn't worth it. Like, yeah. you're going to delay it by six seconds. You're not going to want to go in anyways. Okay. Wait wait until it's a tower that you're defending. That way you can at least get the tower to hit. And the positioning was just not good. Trying to stop him when he's got Aegis, just save it. That was the right move. So OG's going to have a little bit of time to still push the map, get some farm out. No Tail's going to go for a butterfly next. Just getting hits. It's getting harder and harder. In in some ways, going Mjolnir might just not work. You don't... Yeah, you're not... not Because if, if No Tail has a butterfly, and you're trying to deal with Brewmaster, Haze, and Drunken Brawler, the, we're getting into dangerous territory. No Tail has found Kuroki here. Is there any way that Kuroki could be saved? A Savage Roar actually ends up roaring him kind of not in too much of a bad position. Kuroki will try and roll in, but No Tail just turns. Continues to fight him up. The S4 is going to be forcing the rest of Liquid back away from this one, making sure that OG can get the clean kill onto No Tail. Down on the bottom lane, Anna at the same time pressuring onto the tower. Tornado will be there onto GH to try and hold him back for Anna. He's thinking about going back in onto this one. The Glimmer Cape will be enough to save GH. Miracle jumps forward with a quick scream, forces Anna back. The ult now finishes for S4 as OG will disengage. And in fact, Miracle, he just, he just jumps into the midst of the wall, pops the BKP. He's trying to man up it. Croaky's going to buy back. Mind Control looking to move forward. Can he catch anyone with a black hole? No, they're already too far away. And on the back lines, look at this. Magnetize just catching all four. Liquid, they can't fight whilst this is ticking them down. And in fact, GH, he can't even live. He's dead. Anna with the Yule set up onto the crop. Can he combo it down? He's got the cold snap. Miracle will blink up just in time. But then one man down here, Liquid. 
OG still with a full five man up. Mind control. He's stuck in the trees. No BKB as he's already used it. He's only got a blink. I don't know if he can even get himself back to base for this defense. They open up onto the bear. It will be saved by the snowball. S4 jumping in, forcing him to move. Oh, no. They've got to be careful. Mind control. He's coming back to base. Can he get something big? No. Nice because it instantly silenced here. Miracle has found fly in the back lunge with the sonic wave. Will be able to kill the Dazzle off the back of the Soul Bomb. But Anna, the Soul setup, holds back the co op here. There's the black hole though. Mind control. He's got the Invoker. Is it enough? It is. They take down the Invoker. Can they bring down No Tail? They can't. Even though the black hole did catch them both, they live through it. S4 will get out with the TP away. Miracle jumping forward. They need to find something more out of this liquid. They're going to look into the tree lines, but No Tail just outside of range of the kinetic field will TP out. What an intense oh, fight. I mean, they do hold. The tower lives on 6 HP. That's enough. I don't know how it still spins actually on that little bit. Like, wh what in that tower is so vulnerable that you can just tap it and the whole thing falls? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. It's a light switch or I, yeah, something? It, I don't know. Yeah, it physically it looks pretty healthy. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's gonna be a okay. crazy well, fight I'm though. Dying. Like, I, I thought Miracle blinking in aggressively like that well, was a I mean, huge was mistake. Plays. but He was playing so good. Anyway, it paid off. Ultimately paid off, yeah. The, he he really screwed Flyover. He really needed the the Enigma follow up though. Like Mind Control did follow up with the BKB, but I think a lot of that was the the Observer Ward vision that um, that OG had when they left the base. There's a ward on the cliff. Spots the Enigma coming. They get out and react because if they if Invoker just got Black Holt earlier, I, I didn't see when the Aegis died. I don't know if it was in the middle of that fight or a little bit earlier, but if they kill Invoker, the fight gets so much easier. Oh, you're right. It would have been very. It was very close. It would have been close. Yeah, the Aegis gone. I think he did have the Octarine Core in his inventory, so it'd have been dead at least like six seconds or something, but crazy close fights. And he's gonna start farming Refresher next. If they can get to Refresher on Enigma, they'll be in a much better place. He didn't get the cooldown reduction perk because he skipped Midas this game, so that was the right move, but a little tough to take fights is is very apparent. Yeah. He's got a BKB on the barrel. Oh, that's that's honestly what he has to do. He that sucks, to but it. he has to. Nothing else is gonna work. So here they come bottom. Goodbye tower. There's a hex on Jarex as well now. Oh, he got the last hit with the... That was actually a mistake. That was a lot of gold. That was in trouble. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Play my cake. You ever been a, had, a, had a nightmare about an invisible bear before? Uh, no. I'm not into that. Should be scared. As that BKB, but still, th this timing definitely crucial. The fact that there's 40 seconds without that black hole definitely one of the key components that actually allowed them to, to kill the invoker. <coughs> Miracle jumping forward, have fun, bear. Oh, S4, he's going in on this. He jumps in straight away. They find the smash onto GH, they've got the vision onto him as well. GH just gets two shot there by no tails damage. There's no disruptor now. Still 20 seconds without the black hole, and Jarex, he's got his eyes on him. Moving around to the back, making sure there's no chance for any big ult to get out. Now the buyback is there. It's now back for GH. He can get himself back in. Liquid, they need to punish. They get the root and the silence on to fly. They find themselves one. Moving now across to No Tail, but Jarex is there, backing up the drow. Gets the hex in just in time. The Yules, he actually gets it off after the hex finishes, and now they're going to turn. Kuroki comes in with a punch to No Tail. No Tail forcing them away, and in fact, No Tail finally goes. They'll get the double kill on Miracle. My Control looking to trap Anna, but he didn't commit the black hole. He does have glimpse, I think. No, no vision though. He's invis. Very fast. So they pushed them out, but purge, they've been mega. The racks, they've gone. The rat was successful. The push is over. Who got top? Was that Invoker? I th it must have been Invoker sniping it. He's been up and down all over the place, Anna. He's a speedy little boy. He's, he's everywhere, man. This is, I mean. And that fight actually looked okay for them, but I, it must have just been the split push. Like, that's why it started okay, and OG just kind of committed to it, and that's I'm sure that's why. They wanted the Megas. Roche is going to be up soon. This is maybe the only thing that's going they, bad for OG if, here. If they can get Roche and shove down a lane, maybe they've got a chance, but uh, Mega Creeps, they've got pretty buybacks. hard for Liquid to deal with. It's Rumpel, really very tough. Very hard for Liquid to yeah, deal they've with. They've got Radiance, they've got a Maelstrom. No, they went BKB, actually. They don't have that either. So, do not push lanes well. Their team fight's good. If they can just get all of their opponents in one little hole. The bear just down. Well, it's just, they're just so farmed on OG's side. Like, uh, so, Jerks, yeah. here's a Hex, passes BKB. <laughs> like, this might be the first time I see Earth Spirit hit level 25, though. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, yeah. yeah I, I don't think I've ever seen it. I've never even gotten I mean, close. what does he actually take this game? 
Um, Does he need the, to, to save allies, or would the, the extra damage actually be pretty nice? The target allies is really good with a draw, yeah. I'd say, because draw's okay. a little vulnerable, but with that said, plus 300 rolling boulder is a lot of damage. Yeah. That's a lot. I mean, what's that? That's, it's 400 yeah, the whole instead combo of 100. Then is just, yeah, it's 400 it's instead of 100. That's a huge difference. It could work. And they're going to get Roche out of this. I don't... Can Liquid do anything about this? They are around. They are going to smoke up, but there's no miracle. He doesn't have bots. He doesn't have any way of getting over there unless he wants to start blinking over right now. GH eyeing it up, but it's already going to be OG trying to fight. Jarex rolls forward. We'll get rooted immediately, but Roshan's already fallen. Aegis will be picked up by no -tail. They do get Jerex post-roll. Have they got the damage with the Soul Burn? They do. They do manage to pick him up for 80 seconds. Matuma Man, though, getting comboed by Anna. He's out for it. He does have buyback. Kuroki trying to go for the Snowball, but in fact, the Tornado actually caught him the same time he casted the Snowball. That was slightly odd. He released it early, I think. I mean, I guess he must have. Mind Control's trying to walk in for a black hole. He BKs bees, but he's not going to get it. He's just walking into his death, and it really is now all falling apart for Liquid. Got Even it. though Jerex is on the sidelines, there's two down without buyback. The creeps are pushing in. And they feel the they yeah. feel the moment. Mind Control's got blink, B, uh, blink black hole, but that's it. That's it. No BKB. They don't have bear for 25. This just feels over. And it's just moving in onto Matumba Man. There's no way that they can save the Lone Druid. It's a dieback on him. And it just styling over them all as he jumps forward, grabs Mind Control with the tornado. Miracles blinked into the midst of it all. He's trying to find something. He won't even find Fly this time. The Shallow Graves out. S4 hot on the trail of Miracle. Anna ready to try and combo this. And he's got the Cold Snap. Not enough. Miracle will still blink away. But the tornado comes in. They surround the Quap. Another clap. It's still not enough. Miracle. But it's. <laughs> the ancient. Amazing observing. Thank you all. There we go. We didn't see that. We will see an ancient dive. Oh, that was such but a what sick a, game. What a game. What, what, what a series. I mean, we see OG with a clinical performance and Liquid with a clinical performance. Who's going to come out with the performance when it counts the most in game three? And such a cool draft, too. The Draw Ranger making an appearance and a great.